it's Hawken with Top Don. Today we're going to do just a quick tutorial showing you how to connect your R-Link Lite or your R-Link J2534 with GM's TechLine Connect. And TechLine Connect is used for the purposes of programming on GM control units. So let's go ahead and get into the video. As always, we just want to remind you that all of these videos are provided as free training. There is no expectation or guarantee that anything we give you here is going to be completely accurate or guaranteed to fix any vehicles. And of course, we don't assume any liability for anything uh, that results as uh, misinterpretation or misoperation. So with that said, let's proceed. So the first thing we want to do is boot up our R-Link suite. So once we've got our R-Link suite open, we want to connect the R-Link to the computer using the USB cable, and we want to connect it to the DLC or data link connector on the vehicle. And then we want to make sure we do a firmware check. So we do my device in the top left there, and then we make sure we see we're connected, verify your device firmware is up to date, and then we can proceed to the next step. Then we want to go to our driver management, which is the center tab. And we're going to go to driver info. And then we need to make sure that we delete any drivers that are not the vehicle brand we're working on. Now, again, this video is on General Motors. So we want to delete this Chrysler driver as this is not something we want installed when we're working on a GM. So you're going to see here after we click on the Chrysler driver, we can uninstall it here. And then once that's completed, it's going to ask us to confirm yes. And then we're going to go back to the driver download section on the bottom tab there. And we're going to find the GM software driver and we're going to install it. Now, I don't I don't show you the step by step for the installation, but we need to install the driver. Once we've done the installation, you'll go back to your driver info. You'll see the GM driver is installed and it shows downloaded. Now that means we are ready to go ahead and boot up the GM software for the purposes of programming a module. So now, in order to launch the GM software, now this myth video is being made in 2025 here, just in the earlier part of the year. So what the process is today may change over time. We will do our best to try and keep you updated on that, but of course it could change from this video at any time. So we're gonna go and find our web browser and we're gonna right click on our web browser with the mouse and we're gonna run it as an administrator. And we need to do this so the General Motors software can properly update itself. After we get logged into General Motors service information website where TechLine Connect is launched and we go through all the processes of purchasing a license to do the programming for the individual vehicle or the yearly license, then we're gonna go and launch TechLine Connect. So once we get to the launch, we're gonna have launch TLC with administrative privileges, which we want to make sure we have toggled on. Again, this is crucial for the software updating correctly. And then we're gonna click launch TechLine Connect. Next, once the software begins launching, you should get a pop-up window that says it's going to check for updates. And we're gonna see a little window like this. And once all the updates have completed, you should get uh, installation completed next to these. And you can see the last one here is SPS2 or Service Programming 2. Once all the updates have completed, then it's going to take us to a screen like this where it says, hey, we are loading up SPS2. Again, in the future, the screen may change, but essentially the process will likely remain somewhat similar. Once we're into the main screen, you'll get a pop up window in the center like this. I am going to close the X or X out. If you want, you can try clicking connect vehicle from this screen and it will automatically select your J2534 device, which would be the R-Link Lite or the R-Link J2534. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I would X out right here in the top right. And then you have a couple of different options. You can go, first thing you will always wanna try is the auto detect tool which again will try to connect to your J2534, again, in this case being the R-Link J2534 or the R-Link Lite. Then we're gonna hit the auto detect VIN, assuming we were able to connect to the tool without any issues. 
and then it should automatically talk to the vehicle. If for some reason that doesn't work, then we can try manually selecting our tool over on the bottom right here. And then we should get a window that will pop open like this, where we're going to select J2534 in the top left. And we're just going to leave this as reprogram. We're not going to screw with that right now. And I'll move my bubble out of the way so you can see the button here. And we're going to click Submit after we have selected J2534. At which point, you should get a window that will pop up like this that will ask you to select your device. And basically, this will populate with all of the different devices which you may have drivers installed. So we need to select the R link, which is on the bottom here. So we're going to select R link, and you'll see it's highlighted. And then once it's highlighted, the Continue button should light up, and we can hit Continue. If we were able to connect to the actual dongle correctly, then it should exit out of the window, and you should be right back here. And you should have a little thing that says Diagnostic Tool Ready, J2534, in the top right. And at this point, we could try auto-detecting the VIN. But at this point, we would be ready to go ahead and proceed with whatever programming or setup operation we need to use the GM software to accomplish. So, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, just hopefully you had a chance to learn so you could get your R-Link light connected to the vehicle and the OE software for GM here, or your R-Link J2534. Uh, if you have questions or you have comments, feel free to drop them below in the bottom of the video. As always, we appreciate if you would like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. As always, I'm Hawking with Top Don. See you next time.